Hello everyone. This is our set of the day. It says Aman, a shopkeeper who had a fashion mart, he decided to shut down the uh, business and start a new business. So he uh, put up the remaining stock on the sale. But after the sale, even he noticed that some of the items were left with him. So he decided to sell them to his five friends. And uh, that stock with the Aman are three, 30 t-shirts, 10 caps, 14 pair of shoes and some perfume bottles. Now, every friend had, has bought at least two pieces out of uh, the given item, but not of the perfume bottles. And, uh, but it is that uh, given that at least one perfume bottle was bought by uh, every friend and no one bought more than 11 pieces in total and none of them has spent more than 8,000 rupees. Now, first question says, <clears throat> what could be the minimum amount spent by one of the friends of Aman? Now, to solve this question, if one wants to spend spend a minimum amount, then obviously he will uh, buy the <clears throat> uh, minimum required items, right? So everyone is buying two pieces of uh, each of the four mentioned things. So that person should buy two t-shirts, two t-shirts, sorry. And that too with the minimum price because the price asked is minimum. So two t-shirts with 300 rupees each will cost him 600 rupees. Uh, two caps, two caps will cost him 40 rupees. And two pair of shoes, <clears throat> two pair of shoes will cost him each pair is of 16 rupees. So total will be 3300 and one bottle of perfume. So one bottle of perfume cost him 800 rupees. So if you add up these uh, values, it is 4100, 4600, 4740. So 4740 is the minimum amount that the person has to spend. <clears throat> Next question says, <clears throat> had the upper limit of total expense of 8000 was not there, <clears throat> then what maximum amount spent by one of the friends of Aman was how much more than the maximum amount spent by that friend with the limit of 8000. Now, the upper limit of 8,000 is not there. So we need to find the maximum amount spent by a person, maximum that a person can spend. So let's say the person with whom, about, we, uh, about which we are talking is, uh, let's say that person is Ajay. Let's say we are talking about Ajay here. So if we want to find the maximum amount spent by Ajay, that means he must buy 11 articles. And among these 11 articles, he should buy the maximum articles which have the maximum cost, that means 1650 rupees and that is for the shoes now let us check how many shoes at max he can buy <clears throat> so every person should need uh, two pieces of uh, shoes he has total uh, 14 pairs of shoes so bhanu will need two pairs chetan will need two pairs divya and ishan too will need two pairs each so up to this point uh, eight pairs of shoes are gone and ajay can buy at max six pairs of shoes so let's say that ajay is buying two t-shirts now why two t-shirts because this is the minimum requirement right so that's why we are buying two t-shirts only we are maximizing the number of pairs uh, of the shoes and if required if still the number 11 is not uh, in picture then we will increase uh, the number of perfume bottles we, but we will not increase the number of t-shirts because they cost lesser than the uh, price of the perfume bottles so two t-shirts he's buying and that too with the maximum price range of 500 rupees each so two t-shirts at 500 will cost him 1000 rupees two caps that cost him 40 rupees six pairs of shoes he cannot buy more than six pairs because uh, the other people also need at least two so six pairs of shoes will cost him 1650 multiplied by six and uh, six will give you 9900 so 9900 would be the uh, expenditure on uh, what you can say this uh, shoes now up to this point six plus two eight plus two ten ten items he has already bought that means he just need one more item so one item would be bottle one bottle of perfume which cost him 800 rupees now with this amount the total amount spent is uh, 9900 plus 1000 10900 11700 11740 rupees so 11740 rupees is the maximum amount that this person can um, spend on the given items so maximum without the upper limit of 8000 a person can spend maximum of 11740 rupees now the limit 
with a given limit of 8000 rupees let's see maximum amount that a person can spend and we will uh, also check we will also check that whether it is possible for a person to spend exactly 8000 rupees or not when the limit is of 8000 rupees let's say let's check that whether a person can spend 8000 rupees or not uh now in this case let us say this person is buying uh what you can say four pairs of shoes because we need to uh, keep the uh, keep this thing of uh, what you can say uh, total expenditure up to 8000 so that's why let us assume that a person is buying six pairs of shoes obviously he cannot buy uh, sorry four pairs he cannot buy five pairs because if he buy uh, buys five five pairs of shoes then total cost would be more than uh, 8000 rupees right it, it becomes more than 8000 so we are not uh, starting with the five pairs we are starting with the four pairs so let's say he buys four pairs of shoes in that case the cost will be for four pairs the cost will be 6050 multiplied by 4 <clears throat> that comes out to be 6600 so for shoes the person will be paying 6600 for uh, caps the person will be paying uh, 40 rupees i have taken two caps four pairs of shoes right so <clears throat> now he needs at least one bottle of uh, what you can say um, perfume also so one bottle of perfume cost him 800 rupees now, up to this point he has spent 7440 rupees total amount which we are uh, looking at is 8000 so remaining amount is 8000 minus 7440 that comes out to be 560 <clears throat> with which he needs to buy at least two t-shirts at least two t-shirts are the requirement so if he buys minimum two t-shirts then the cost of t-shirt comes out to be 280 rupees which is not possible reason being the minimum cost for the a uh, t-shirt is 300 rupees so that simply means that uh, we are except the shoes we are buying buying the other items to the lowest uh, requirement two caps and one bottle of perfume with this he is not been able to buy two t-shirts so that means he cannot buy four pairs of shoes because with that the condition of two t-shirts is not met <clears throat> so four pairs of shoes are not possible at all <clears throat> now let's check that if he buys three pairs of shoes by a few pairs of shoes with three pairs of shoes i would say uh, the total amount spent by him would be 4950 so 4950 is the total amount spent so up to this point the total amount spent by him is <clears throat> the remaining amount is uh 8000 minus this 5790 5800 and after that you will get 22 so it this is 2210 <clears throat> so 2220 is the remaining amount now let's see how many t-shirts he can buy <clears throat> obviously ishan divya chetan and bhanu they need at least two t-shirts each there are 13 t-shirts so he can buy five t-shirts <clears throat> he can buy five t-shirts and he if he buys five t-shirts then uh, five uh, t-shirts uh, let's say this is a cost of five t-shirts now so with five t-shirts the total uh, items with him are 5 plus 3 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 11 that lies in this range of uh, 11 pieces so if you buy uh, five t-shirts the cost for each t-shirt will be uh, 442 rupees that is possible that lies in between 300 and 500 rupees so that means with this combination now i am not saying that this is the only combination you can make other combinations also <clears throat> right possibility is that you can make other combinations too but <clears throat> this is one of the combinations my just uh, concern was that is it possible for a person to actually spend 8000 rupees uh, under the given conditions 
because a person can spend at least uh, at max uh, eight thousand rupees. So yes, it is possible for a person to spend eight thousand rupees. <clears throat> but you can also have more combinations. You can also have more combinations. A person uh, can alter the items bought here, and he can still buy. Uh, or see, he can still uh, do the purchase for eight thousand rupees. So question is asking, what is the difference? So that means the maximum uh, maximum amount that a person can spend is eleven thousand seven hundred and forty rupees, and uh, minimum he can spend is eight thousand. Minimum he can spend actually eight thousand rupees can be spent. So question is asking for the difference. So question is asking for the difference of eleven thousand seven hundred forty and eight thousand. So answer would be three thousand seven hundred and forty rupees. <clears throat> right. You can also make the other combinations also if you want to do that. So that uh, we already checked that we cannot increase the number of shoes, number of pairs of shoes, but we can increase the number of uh, perfume bottles. If I say that he is buying, say instead of one, he is buying two perfume bottles, he will be paying sixteen hundred rupees for that. Now for this value, the total amount comes out to be six five four zero. Six five uh, nine zero sorry, six five nine zero is the total amount uh, with this much uh, combination. Okay, and uh, remaining amount is if you subtract this six five nine zero, the remaining amount would be fourteen ten, right? And with this fourteen ten, he can be he is able to uh, buy three T-shirts. Of four seventy rupees each, that also lies in this range. Now, in this again case again, he is buying three shoes, uh, three pairs of shoes, two caps, two bottles of perfume, and three T-shirts. So three plus two, five plus two, seven plus three, ten. So he is buying <coughs> ten items in this case. He is buying ten items in this case. <clears throat> okay, so this is the second uh, possibility you can say. <clears throat> now the third question says, if Ajay bought no question is asking for Ajay itself. So if Ajay bought exactly ten items now and spent the maximum possible amount, the maximum possible amount spent is eight thousand rupees. Then the maximum, uh, how much did he spend in, uh, uh, in rupees on buying the T-shirts, right? So now he is not spending more than eight thousand, and the total items bought by him are ten. Question is asking for the maximum amount that he can spend on the T-shirts. I think this is the only combination for that, which already is written on the screen. Since he cannot buy four pairs of shoes, right? He cannot buy four pairs of shoes. That is clearly mentioned. Uh, clearly discussed in the previous question, uh, so he must buy at max three pairs of shoes. Two caps are required minimum, right? And uh, three pairs of shoes will cost him four thousand nine hundred fifty. This is the amount for shoes, three shoes, two caps. That is for forty rupees. Now, if he buys one bottle of perfume, one perfume. That will cost him eight hundred rupees. So we uh, have checked that this comes out to be fifty-seven ninety. The remaining amount was twenty-two uh, ten. This was the remaining amount, twenty-two ten. Right, and he already has has bought three plus two, five plus one, six items. So maximum he can buy is ten. So that means three plus two, five plus one, six items are bought. He is left with only four items. So if I divide this two to one zero by four, the value is going to be more than five hundred. That means with this amount he is not able to buy four T-shirts. He has to buy to spend this much amount. He has to buy minimum five T-shirts. If he buys five T-shirts, then that value was around I think. Four forty-two rupees. Right, this was the value which we calculated in the previous question. 
so with the five t-shirts he is able to buy uh, he is able to spend uh, 2210 rupees uh, when the cost of each t-shirt comes out to be 442 rupees but he is not uh, he is not going to buy five the reason being 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 six items are already bought here so only he can buy four items so if he buys four t-shirts then with these four t-shirts the value of each t-shirt would be more than 500 that is not possible the t-shirt range between 300 to 500 rupees that means this case is not possible so he cannot buy four t-shirts <coughs> worth of rupees at uh, 2200 right so we need to increase the value of the perfume and if we increase the value of perfume if we uh, take two perfumes instead of one then in that case uh, this will be the total expenditure on shoes caps and bottles the remaining amount is 410 which can be uh, spent on the t-shirts now 3 plus 2 5 plus 2 7 items are already bought here we are left with three items those three items would be t-shirts and in this case the cost of each t-shirt comes out to be 470 rupees which is very much possible the question is asking how much how, what is the maximum amount that he can spend on the t-shirts so maximum would be 410 rupees he cannot spend more than this amount so this was all about this set